Hey Patreons, welcome back. In today's video, I want to talk about how to dodge magic missiles. A lot of you ask me this question and I really appreciate it because sometimes I'm wondering what video, what kind of thing they want me to talk about. So when you give me suggestions, it's actually your ideas and it's actually things that you guys want to learn. So I know what I'm doing is really going to be helpful. So uh, how to dodge magic missiles. Let's talk about it. First, I want to talk about other ways to avoid magic missiles. First way, teleport away. Second way, shield sideways like this. This is the one I'm using the most because I'm very, very comfortable with it. I mostly never get hit. I would say I have the success rate of 95%. Each time I, I, I swipe it like that with the shield, most of the time I never get hit. But you guys want to know how to dodge without using the shield. Now, third way is with the shield again, and it's, uh, as I, I, I talked before in an old video, you put the shield in front of you and you move forward. By moving forward, you block the first missile that comes in the middle, and the two other one that comes from the side, well, because you move forward, they will hit themselves behind you. So, you move forward, you put your shield in front of you, and the two other ones will hit themselves behind you. Same thing if you move back, you will put your shield in front of you so you will protect yourself from the one coming straight and the two other ones are going to hit themselves in front of you. So you move forward, you block, or you move backward and you block. Super easy. Now you want to learn how to dodge this without using any shield. There is two things you can do, okay? I'm going to talk about the first thing. First thing is move a lot before he throws the magic missiles. By doing this, it's really hard for your opponent to actually lock the magic missiles on you. Because if he fails of locking the magic missiles on you when he throws the magic missiles, you will notice that the two magic missiles from the side will actually go really far behind you because it's not locked on your body. So because it's not locked on your body, the only missiles you have to be uh, careful about is the middle one but it's like chilling clutch or anything like that so you just have to care about one of them to dodge because the two other ones are gonna go way past you and go far behind you so you move you move and the person is gonna try to to lock when they're trying it they're charging and if they miss which if you're moving a lot they will miss probably 50 to 70 percent of the time then it's gonna go way past you behind you but let's say that they did lock magic missiles on you and you can clearly see that it's coming for you and you don't want to use the shield, you don't want to teleport away, you want to dodge it. It's not an exact science, I'm still struggling to sometimes to do it, but uh, I guess that I can give you some clues here on what to do. So. This is you, the X is you, the big circle is the tile. The magic missile is locked on you. Where do you want to go? You don't want to go here because if you go there, you will still get hit by this missile coming there. And this one as well, because th this one goes, if we follow the trajectory, this one goes like this and this one goes like this. They continue their trajectory. So you will get hit by at least one or two of them. You don't want to get hit at all. So what are you going to do? You don't want to move in front. You don't want to move here because same thing again, you will get hit by this one here. If you move here, same thing, you will get hit by this one. So where do you want to go? It's almost the same thing as uh, the shielding in front of you and moving forward or backward. The thing is you move backward, but on the side. So this is you here and you move there, you move right in that corner here. This way you don't get hit by this one in the middle and those two here will hit themselves in front of you. So the magic missiles arrive, you step back sideways. So you don't get hit by the one in front of you and you don't get hit by the one coming from the side. Now the problem is if they throw again magic missiles, you're a little bit screwed because if you move back to your old position and you go back in the middle here, well, 
let's say they throw the missiles again most likely because of the one coming from the side then you might get hit so what I would say is go like this dodge it and then come back from to your original position and then dodge it again by moving back sideways why am I saying that I told you already never move forward with magic missiles you're, you will not be able to dodge by moving forward simply because of the curves of magic missile it's it's really hard uh, I've tried sometimes against some people I'm, I said I'm not gonna use shield and try just dodging and I dodge and dodge and the first technique of dodging a lot works and it works and it works because they cannot lock the magic missiles on me so it always go passes and pass me pass me good good but sometimes they do succeed and it's locked on me and then I try sometimes to move forward like go in the corner here but then I was getting hit by the one coming there if I move there I get hit by the one coming like this so the only way I found right now to dodge magic missile is to actually move back on the side but then like I said before if you stay there and then the true magic missile again, which I'm going to show you right here, what I'm trying to say. I'm going to erase this, erase this here. Okay. So this is the tile and now you are in that corner here. And it throws and the guy is spamming magic missiles. You went there to avoid the first attack. But then he's throwing magic missiles and he was able to lock it on you and he throws it and it goes like this. Where are you gonna go now? Well, you could go here on the other side, but you gotta be careful because this one here, okay, if you follow the trajectory, it's going like this. So you could still get hit simply because this missile here might still reach on the other side so what could you do well you could go here but then that would be very close you would be very close from getting hit so as I said your best option is whenever you dodged one before your opponent has time to send another one go back in the middle for you to be able to go back to your original position after by dodging it. It's not, it's not easy to dodge uh, magic missiles. I do not really recommend it, okay? Because you might make a mistake eventually. If you're screwed, you're out of mana, use this technique, of course you're out of mana. But otherwise, teleport away or use the shield. The more chances you take in this game, the more chances you get to get hurt. And the more chance you get that, the more chance that you have to, <laughs> sorry about that. The more chance that you get damage, the more chance you have to lose. You don't want to get damage. Remember the three rules I give you to win all the time. Do not get hit. Dodging magic missiles increases your chances of getting hit a lot, okay? Because the ones from the side covers a big area of the tile because it curves in. So it's very hard to avoid. Big recap, I'm gonna repeat myself a little bit. Okay, move a lot so they can't lock the spell on you. That's the first rule. So if they can't lock it on you, then it will be very easy to dodge. You just have to care about the middle one because the two other ones from the side will go way past you, behind you. Now, if they get to lock it on you, move back and sideways. And as soon as they did that and you avoided the three magic missiles, go back to your original position so you can do the same thing again. Because, okay, because you, cannot, you can never move forward. And because if you're at the back and they do it again, you cannot move back anymore because then you're gonna get in the gray area. You don't want to get in the gray area because you're gonna get hit or actually you cannot go in the gray area it actually locks you there 
I've tried it before. I went in the gray area very far sometimes and my opponent was still able to hit me like when where I'm supposed to be in the circle technically even though I was way far outside the gray area. Even though you go in the gray area your body still remains at the same place. What I'm trying to say here okay this is you okay here and you want to go in the gray area right here well that's not working because if your opponent sees you you might think that you're here you see yourself as standing here but actually your opponent sees yourself in the limit of your circle here so your opponent will throw something at you here and because you think that you're standing there this doesn't matter you're still gonna get hit right there and you won't be able to protect yourself because you are in the gray area and you cannot use a shield or anything so that's why I always go back in the middle after dodging magic missiles go sideways you move back but on the side so you don't get hit by the one in the middle and the one coming sideways and then go back to your original position and repeat again by going the other side or by going back to the same place you can repeat the same movement again like this and like this you come back in the middle like this and like this so that's what I would, I would suggest you to do if you have to dodge magic missiles move as much as possible before they throw it and if they are able to lock it on you you move back sideways that's it thanks for watching see you soon bye bye